Hey y'all, once again this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and today we're going to be doing a sign that I just came up with and I really think it's a good idea. This is stuff I already had around the house. So what I'm going to be using, because I'm going to show y'all of course everything I'm going to be using, is this paper pack from Dollar Tree. I'm using this one and I picked these colors out of it. This, well not colors, these. <sighs> pieces of paper out of it. I just thought it was really pretty. I'm going to use this sign. You don't have to use this exact one. You can use one that's shaped like it or a little different, however you feel. I'm going to be using some uh, a glue stick. I'm sorry y'all, my brain's not functioning. Mod Podge. And I am going to be using a painter's pen, but you could use stickers or even paint with stencils, you know, whatever you feel best. So, of course, like always, you can get this list on my social media, which if you follow me, it is down below. Well, it's down below if you want to follow me. Sorry about that. And you can also get this list on social media. That's what it's called. All right, so let's get to it, y'all. As I'm going to be setting this up to... be able to cut so I'm going to just draw a line That should be good enough. It's not, if it's not perfect, it is what it is, y'all, but it should be fine. Okay, now that I drew the line, I'm going to cut this. You can use scissors. You can use what I'm using, the utility knife. You can use a Zacto knife. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you get the cut. All right. So. upside down yeah all right so as you can see I think I messed up as y'all can see I didn't do this right I'm sorry y'all I got another piece give me a second that was stupid I did that backwards I'm supposed to cut this off so that it lines up and I did it the other way all right so now I'm going to cut this, and I'm not worried about the one I messed up because I can always use that on something else. Alright, so, now that I've cut it the right way this time, see how it lines up better? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little stick, my little glue stick, hold on y'all. That. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to put glue on the paper. And I'm not too worried if I go past where I need to be because I want to make sure I get plenty of glue on this. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, excuse me, and now I'm gonna stick it down on there. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. You just get it completely saturated with glue, as I like to say. Just make sure there's plenty of glue on the back. Ooh, sorry. And, oops, I'm going the wrong way with my glue. And then again, just stick it on there.
sorry y'all. I'm not getting in on there good. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. I gotta make sure it's perfect or I'm gonna have problems. I, I like it being a certain way. I think this is what's causing the problems. There we go. Now it should work. Alright, so let me put my glue on the back of this. Sorry, I messed that up. I'm going to my pudge. No, not my pudge over it. I'm sorry. I'm going to move on to the next step. I'm sorry. My next step would be to my pudge over it, but I'm going to add my paint. And if you use stickers, I would suggest using stickers first. I'm going to add my paint to it, what I'm going to put on it. And then what I'm going to write on it. And then I will my pudge over it. You just gotta shake real good if you're using a painter's pen. Oh, I forgot this did that. Then you're just gonna make sure the paint comes out. Just write whatever saying you want, but this is saying I want to write, and it's gonna be my favorite color is sunrise. So, this any way you want. I don't know if I'm going to like how this comes out, but this is the way I decided to do it. So, I could be wrong with how I did it. I might have wanted to do it slightly different. But this is what I'm going to do. So now i got to let it dry and then I'll put the Mod Podge over it and then let that dry. And then we'll move to the next step. Let the paint is dry if you use paint. You can go ahead and Mod Podge over it because it just helps protect it. And then you have to let that dry. just does what it wants and I like to make sure it stays so do that I 
And I always like to make sure I put a bit of Mod Podge on it just to make sure that I get everywhere because I want to be able to oh, I want to be able to see the Mod Podge I put down because I want to make sure I get it everywhere. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Because I've done it before and I didn't put enough and it was just horrible. I mean, I got it to work finally, but it was hard. It was one of my first projects I did. And it was my first time using Mod Podge, so that would explain why it was so hard. to let this dry and then we can move on to the next step sorry I didn't mean to yell we can move on to the next step once it's dry all right y'all now that it's dry or should be dry enough you can go ahead and cut paper That's it finished and I think it came out looking really cute and I'm happy with it. Of course you want to make sure the edges are you know nice and solid. But I like it. I think it looks good. I'm happy how it came out. I like to hear y'all's opinions. Um, if you like it please 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 like share subscribe and comment because it does help my channel to grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!